Hi, this is ZQ, founder of Asia Forex Mentor. So in this video, I'll be revealing what I do on a weekly basis and I'll be sharing my analysis for this week, which is the 18th of April 2016. So you can refer to this video throughout the week to spot for trade setups. The analysis in this video will be my trading plan for the week. So in my weekly analysis video, I'll be sharing pairs that have a possible setup for the week or pairs that are worth taking note. Okay, so this week I'll keep it short whereby I, I'll zoom it down to four pairs. So the first pair that I'll be talking about is XAG USD. So XAG USD is basically silver, right? Um, let's look at the overall view. So if we look at, say, silver as a whole. So silver has been uh, ever since the massive uh, breakdown on the April, uh, sorry, on March 2013, as it broke, yes, it dropped down to the level, and then it, it kind of formed the lows, and then it dropped down again on 2014 to the lows here, and then which is now uh, here will be the out here will be the most recent lows until 2016. So what price now is doing is it seems that it's trying to go back up to 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 try to uh, in a way uh, previous weeks or so I've talked about. Go so go does seems to have broken the series of downtrend to head into uh, an oncoming uptrend. So if you look on the weekly time frame, so go and silver basically they are correlated, so they will move more or less pretty much the same. So if we look at the weekly time frame, here is the uh, previous highs on 2015. So here was the previous high as 2015. Price is now meeting the same high again at 2016. So if we go on to the daily time PM here, we can see even clearer. Here is out here was the previous highs in 2015. So right now price is at the 2016, which is of the same high, and that's the reason why it got rejected. So if we zoom it out, what we can see is that uh, here was the uh, downtrend all this while. Price went up to touch the 365 and white line and got rejected. Eventually, it broke through the white line. So this is the first indication that price is trying to hit up. But after after breaking through the 365, next stop it stopped at the previous high, which is the uh the the highest here at 2000 at 2015. That's the reason why price kind of stopped over here. So this is the crucial area that we would like to see. So what I want to see is once price does closes and official official close above the highest point, which I have marked here by the red line, then it's going to be a good signal that price is starting to hit up after which. And the next stop where price would go after break. So if we go on to the monthly time frame, let me zoom it closer. Okay. So if does if price does hit up from the red line, next stop where you will go is to uh, the white line, which is a three six five. But if you look at recent history, price isn't really respecting the white line on the monthly time frame itself. So we can expect price to protrude and to hit up higher. So if you go over to the weekly time frame, uh, next area where you most likely stop is the Bollinger Band over here at the top, which is kind of close to the previous the next rejection level, which is based on the highs over here. Alright, so this is the pair that I'm looking for this week or so. And uh, once it does breaks above the red line, I'll be looking for an opportunity to get in. Okay, next pair. USD CHF. Okay, USD CHF, uh, I've drawn on the daily time frame. So I've marked a trend line based on this red line, which is trend line based on the lows. Here's the low, first low, second low. So that's the reason why price has been holding pretty much over here. So it, it hold here and also been held by the Bollinger Band and, and therefore it bounces back up. So here was the previous low at the 365. It came down 365 eventually it broke through first time, second time, third time it broke through. So price is now going back up to the 365 to test the, prev the previous rejection. And it's been holding back for a couple of days or so. So this is something that I would like to look at because we always like to look at things whereby price is respecting a, a rejection level really well. So if you look at it over here, price has been uh, trying to test the white line but still couldn't break through, which is something that uh, we like to see. So if I go, so let me just plot a little white line over here just to mark it so that I can note it at a lower time frame. So if I go over to the four hour time frame, we can see over here, price is now uh, not only getting stopped by the daily white line, which is also getting stopped by the 4 hour orange line. So that's the reason why price is kind of stalling over here. And it's also in between the daily 
the four hour Bollinger Band. So therefore it's kind of squeezing over here, trying to break out eventually. If we look at a one hour time frame, and then we can see even more closely, wow, price has been gathering real sideways over here. And by far hasn't closed above the white line yet. And it's also be, uh, in between the white line on the one hour time frame. So we can expect, uh, we can, there's a reason why price is congesting over here. So once price off does make an official uh, close above here, I'll be looking to get in. And if it does goes up, next stop where it will probably hit to is the next highs over here. And by then the orange line will probably come down and that's the area where you probably, uh, you will get uh, rejected or so. And here is the area where we would get out. Okay. So this is USD CHF. Next pair, CHFJPY on a daily time frame. So see, if I zoom out to the weekly time frame, what we can note is that here was the massive uh, sideways trend. If you see it plotted by my red line over here, here was the lows, the lows, the lows. So here, it was a massive sideways trend ever since 2013 to 2014 or so. So price is now is now coming back down to the lows here. Uh, it kind of form a couple of three pin bars over here. To let me just zoom this. Uh, sorry, let me just zoom this to make it bigger. Kind of form three pin bars over here. Headed back up to test the orange line. Couldn't really break through. It's now coming back down to the lows again. And so here, here this red line would, would be what I consider the a very strong area of rejection. The lows, the lows, the lows here. So price is now coming back to all rejection area, which is something that we want to look for. So if if it does make an official closing below the ultimate lows, then we can see it heading. So if okay, now that I look at the weekly time frame where we zoom out, we can see it clearly over here. This is a crucial area for the CHF JPY. So once it does make an official close over here, we can expect price to head down further. Next stop will be the levels that we have over here. So this is CHF JPY. Okay, last pair. Euro USD. So Euro USD, let me zoom out to the weekly time frame. Okay. We can see uh, it getting stopped over here based on the highs here. The highs, the highs, the highs. And that's the reason why price is kind of stopping here again at 2016. It all started at 2014. Okay, and if I go to the monthly time frame. Here was a sideways congestion plotted by my red line and price headed up to get stopped. Let me move this line all the way by the white line, which is my 365. So let me just plot it back down here. Okay. So if we go over to the daily time frame, we can see it pretty much clearer. Here is the highs, the high. It protrude. Let me zoom out. It protruded out, got rejected at 365, came back down, the highs, the highs, and that's the reason why price is stopping here again at 2016. So, and it's also getting stopped here, not because of the red line, which is marked by all the previous highs, it's also getting stopped by the white line and the Bollinger Band. So we have a series of uh, uh, rejection area over here, which is a strong one. And that's the reason why price shot down. After testing, it couldn't break through, it shot down. So again, this is a crucial area that, uh, something that I would like to note at, so once price does break through this crucial area, which has been held very well all this while, right? All this while has been held really well. Next stop, when it eventually does close breaks above, it will be to the next area, which is the white line on the weekly time frame itself. So this is the overall view and the plan for uh, this week itself, and I'll be looking for uh, proper trade execution in the lower time frame itself. So that's all for this week, and now. Uh, by the way, I've just um, uh, talk, I want to talk about it. I've just set my dates for the next uh, masterclass live in Singapore on the let me check twenty first and twenty second of May. Yeah. So I've uh, confirmed the dates that is will be on the twenty first and twenty second of May. As usual, I'll keep my classes small. So if you're thinking to take a forex to trading and chart reading to the next level, then uh, this will be something that you would like to look at. All right. So that's all for this week. I will see you all next week.